Join me later while we're spreading the joy of London 2012 with, a, with an Olympic sport that you may not have heard about just a few weeks ago. We'll be joined by the handball stars of Team GB and who knows, so maybe gold medalists of the future. But uh, for some, uh, the spirit of the Games is set to continue. Gethin is in South London for us this morning. Morning, Gethin. Good morning, guys. Yes, this morning we're trying to spread the Olympic legacy a little bit with a fantastic game of handball. That's what we're teaching these guys what to do. Energetic and brutal at times. But I must warn you guys, when I play, I play to win, all right? So, what? The, uh, uh, hang on a minute. See you after the break. I am one at a time. And after the cheers have tied down in the Olympic Stadium for the Olympics and they've all emptied out, how do we make sure that we really have done what we wanted to do and inspired a generation? Well, Gethin is in South London with some very excited looking future athletes. Morning, Gethin. Yeah, good morning, guys. You're absolutely right. Yeah, who knows? These could be the, the stars of the future. But you mentioned how excited the Olympics have been. Of course, 80,000 people watching Usain Bolt in the stadium last night. Another 80,000 watching uh, the women's football. 88% uh, of the British population have been watching the Olympics on TV at some point over the last couple of weeks. And they might have been exposed to a sport they've never heard of before, like, like handball itself. Now, Tom is from uh, England handball. Seven years ago, when we found out that uh, the Games were coming to London, there wasn't a Team GB. Now they've been performing on the biggest stage uh, of all. That's got to have done some good to the sport in, in Britain. It's been amazing, and the last two weeks as well has been uh, phenomenal for the sport. The interest just nationally at all clubs has been you know, phenomenal. We're getting so much in. Because you, you hear that a lot, but that's actually happened. People have got in touch and yeah, said, we want to play yeah, handball. I mean, every member of staff, every club that we've been speaking to over the last week or so have just said the response has been massive. So many people want to try it out, have a go, and you know, there's so much chance this sport now to grow because it's such a big sport in Europe. Yeah, OK, well, we're going to be meeting some of uh, Team GB a bit later on. Who knows, these could be the stars of the future as well. You've been, is this your first time playing handball? Mm, yes. What have you made of it? What do you mean? Do you like it? Yes. Yeah, what do you like about it? I like when you shoot and how you play. Yeah, you look quite aggressive. I saw you earlier shooting at Tom. You look quite aggressive doing that. You quite enjoyed it, didn't you? Yes. Uh, and it is quite a high, high energy. Do, do you play different uh, sports like football and rugby? And how does yeah. handball compare? Um, well... Handball competes because it's one of the different unnatural sports where you throw to score yeah. and you don't uh, kick to score or place down. OK, and why do you like handball? Um, because it's nice and rough and... Um, <laughs> you look like um, someone who likes a bit of rough and tumble. Yeah, and really, um, like, hard in there. Yeah. Um, and what about other sports? Have you been watching lots of Olympic? I've, I've been like glued to the t TV late nights watching everything. What about you? Um, I've watched basketball and hockey, but that's about it. And also beach volleyball. That's about it. What about new sports? Is well? Have you been sort of watching sort of new sports? Did you see the taekwondo last mm. night? And I into actually that? miss all of it because I'm so busy. But so busy playing it. Yes. Watching and then wanting I to practice. play. Practice. Okay, well, we're, they, they may be some of the stars of the future. Who knows? They're all practicing here, having a fantastic uh, time of it. And a bit later on, I said the Team GB will be with us. We'll be chatting to them. And we'll be finding out what happened when Kate Middleton went to watch them play. We'll be finding out what the Duchess thought of the game of handball. Join us later. Wow. Do you know, it's, it's handball that my daughter's really got into from really? these games as well. Yeah. yeah, I've been on the internet trying to find local clubs and things. It's great when sports that you know that they would never perhaps have had access to a scene. It's really I brilliant. I think that's what this Olympics has done, actually. I really it's hope acquainted so. Acquainted people with a whole lot of sports haven't really thought and very yeah, much about. Yeah, or reacquainted with them. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. Uh, we'll be meeting the next generation of Olympic hopefuls, trying out the fast and furious game of handball. And... Thank Still to come uh, here on Daybreak, have the game succeeded in inspiring a new generation? Gethins with some uh, budding future champions. We hope. Yeah, absolutely. We're loving it, aren't we? We're loving this handball stuff. It's absolutely brilliant, and we've got some members of Team GB with us as well. There's all kinds of coaching going on over there. Check this out. Go on. Have you guys, Catherine and Mark? Some proper speed over there. That's what we're trying to do, isn't it? They're all saying hello to them. Do you have a chair? We'll see you after the break. What about Team GB? Team, Team GB, GB, huh? Team GB! Waving at his mum. Team GB! 
<laughs> Why not? Mums deserve a wave. An honor now, the Games may be drawing to a close, but organisers are hoping it won't mark the end of Britain's Olympic adventure. We have got the Paralympics as well, but yes. they're talking about even beyond that, of course. Yes, it's hoped uh, London 2012 will inspire a generation to get involved with a new sport. And Gethin is in South London with some very keen-looking future athletes. Morning, Gethin. Absolutely. Good morning, guys. And you're absolutely right, John. These guys are already loving it. They, they had never played handball before this morning. Now they're having a fully blown game. There's lots of goals in handball, so lots of excitement, especially for younger kids as well. And like everyone else, I've been swept away by Olympic fever. 88% of the population have watched it on TV at some point. That's 50 million people. Uh, let's find out what these guys are, um, are liking at the Olympics. Well, what, have you, what sport have you enjoyed at uh, Well, I love the hockey. I went to watch Team GB play South Africa. It's a great game. You got tickets? Yeah. So you like the hockey, what have you liked? Um, I liked um, the running and um, the swimming. The swimming as well, and what about you? What's been your favourite uh, sport? I like the uh, athletics. Athletic. Well people are getting into all kinds of different sports in a big way and that's what this Olympic Games is all about, inspiring the next generation. You can hear it in the cheers. You can feel it all around. And you can see it with the gold medals that just keep on coming. Britain has gone bonkers for the Olympics, but with just three days left, what happens after? London's 2012 slogan is inspire a generation. With big wins in a variety of sports, plus the inclusion of less well-known events, it's hoped that more young people will get out there and try something new. A one billion pound five-year youth and community plan has been promised. The idea is to create 4,000 school-based community sports clubs. But there are concerns that the government has scrapped compulsory two-hour PE lessons. With what's been the most successful Olympics for Team GB in more than a century, the hope is that our love for sport will keep burning long after the Olympic flame leaves the UK. Water polo, archery, gymnastics have all had a boost in interest whilst the Olympic Games have been going on, as has handball. And I'm delighted to say we've been joined by some members of the team this morning. Thanks for coming down this morning. No worries. Um, what a roller coaster ride it's been for, for you guys. Seven years ago, when the Games were announced that they were coming to London, uh, what was the situation then for, for handball in this country? I think we had like three or four players, and um, at the time, all the, all the teams that we've been just played against in the Olympics were competing for medals at all major championships. Championship. So we've come a really long way in a short space of time. Yeah, absolutely, and the children this morning, the way they've reacted to you as well, you're now, you're now kind of stars, you know, performing yeah. on the biggest stage of all. What has, what has that been like as an experience? It's been overwhelming. Um, the response we've had uh, to handball has just been absolutely amazing. It's been a dream come true. It's it's what we've always wanted. We've always known that handball's had a place in this country and there's there's no bigger place to, to get as much exposure as we need for handball than the Olympic Games and it's just been fantastic. Uh, the Royal Family came to, to watch you as well. Uh, yeah. Kate Middleton, she's a fan? Yep, yeah, Kate Middleton's a fan. She said that she'd uh, wished it was at, played at her school when she was there and that she'd love to give it a go. So it's anybody, handball's for anyone and hey. anyone can give it a go. So. She can start training, maybe get to Rio, you never yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. Why not? <laughs> she's tall enough anyway. She's, she's a lot taller than we thought she was, really? so she should really give it a go. Awesome, I'm sure she's very good. Uh, and Dan, just quickly, you, you're wearing the badge, you're playing for your nation. What was that like? Six and a half thousand people at the Copper Box. Oh, an amazing feeling, you know, to work so hard for five years and well, for me, a sport that, like these Boys, you know, today I've never played, you know, and uh, it was an amazing feeling to be there in front of all those people, the home crowd, family and friends, and you know, giving our everything, and it was just, you know, a wonderful experience. And you go from strength to strength now as well, guys. Thank you so much uh, for joining us this morning and for showing the kids uh, how to play handball. There you go, definitely a sport uh, for the future, and it's fair to say that these guys have been inspired. Good. Good. Absolutely great, and we hope you have at home uh, because on Monday we're going to be looking back at your golden moments from the Olympics. Maybe it was one of those tearjerker ones or an event that had you uh, absolutely on the edge of your seat. Get in touch with us either through email, Twitter, Facebook, or you can text us on 67890. Text costs 25 pence plus your standard network charge, and you must be over 18. And as ever, you have to get your uh, comments in uh, before 8 o'clock. He checks his watch. Yes, You've still got time, just about.